so that they, trans they transmit the information to the ground much but they more. They also efficient. are kind of uh, self-writing, too. Yeah, yeah. They, they keep themselves. It's because they have a really low center of gravity, because the motor is built in down low, so it's hard to knock it over. So kind of nice. What if you made bris uh, put bristles on the other side too? Hexbot jam. On like they're supposed to help each other. Like if one of them can't get out, if the other one bounces into it, they like de jam each other. <laughs> yeah, like when they fall, they fall over and they get back up. And then these are just the really simple ones. How much do they cost? Like these uh, eight dollars. These cost eight, eight dollars at Radio Shack. But we went to um, the tech museum yesterday, and, and they, they were selling they them for like thirteen dollars. Oh, that's a good call. <laughs> I don't know where they put themselves over. That's crazy. They're really good. They write themselves, yeah, and they don't move when you know the geometry is such that when they're flipped over, they don't go anywhere. They put all their energy into getting back up. That's my version of a hex ball. Hey, you're but those orange things were on the, the, the real brush. Yeah, it's like, it's like this one. I just took oh, off gray. the bristles. Set it on the flat part. Watch it go. On this part? Yeah. <laughs> it goes super fast. <laughs> So is it because the rubbery stuff is just way springier than yeah. the bristles? And also because the motor is on the underneath, so it helps balance the whole thing. And it's a little pop I mean, it's a little front heavy. You can you can tell that it wants to dip. <laughs> so I think setting the motor a little back would help with that. I was supposed to go.